The Scarlatti D minor Toccata is a perfect example of how to play repeated notes. That question comes up constantly. What often happens is that people play the staccato very, very short and the fingers play, you know, move by themselves and they're very, very curled and the curling immediately creates tension. And also when the fingers are curled, they're not free to move. They're, they're frozen. The fingers have to be in the natural position to be able to move freely. Now, how do we avoid this whole kind of curling in isolation that, you know, something like this in particular uh, points out to. So th there are quite a few parts, I would say, to how to play um, repeated notes successfully, but I'll touch on a few. The first one is, in order for the fingers to remain in the same position, the arm can't stay in the same place. So for example, if you see, when I'm going from three to two, I'm moving a little bit out, the thumb is off the keyboard, I have to come in. The moment the thumb is on the keyboard, the other fingers, if they're not curled, are going to be in the blackie area. And since they're in the blackie area, and we're going to avoid coming out by curling them, the forearm has got to come out. This is the part that has to make it possible for the fingers to remain in the natural position, where they can move best and where there is no tension. So the way this movement, what we call out and in, out and in, the way it goes is this way, moves out to the two, back into the thumb, out, out, in, out, out, in. Now, this is one part. If we move in and out, just in and out, it's going to be a little bit too big and very soon the, the upper arm and the shoulder, shoulder area are going to get tired. There is never just one motion that is involved in playing anything. It's always a combination of motions that give you a final result, and that's what we see. We don't see the different things. But together with the in and out motions, there is rotation. There is a single rotation and a double, and a single, and a single, and a double, a single, single, double. The moment you have the combination of rotation and in and out, you're already minimizing this, the motion of the of the in and out. On top of that, there is also the shaping. We come down to the thumb, we get a little bit higher to the three, the two is already on its way down to the thumb. That motion, the shaping, the rotation, the in and out working together, one motion minimizes the other. So even though you see this, you see that this kind of motion allows for great speed, or I should say, this kind of motions.